Big Tyler, Little Game. Little Game, Big Tyler. Big. Yeah, this is Calculator the Game, another calculator puzzle game that I'm checking out, and I can't believe that's a phrase I just said. The goal of the game is to get to the number in the upper right using only the number of moves denoted here. So if I get to two using the button plus one, I go plus one, plus one, that gets me to two, and it talks to you, level two is incoming. Now I've got to get to eight and three moves, so that's three plus three plus two. Pretty simple so far, but it, it does feel pretty addictive. Now I have three moves to get to 12, so I have to do plus one, plus two times four, that's 12. I guess it's a game about math, you know I love math. Three moves to get to seven. Plus four, plus four minus two, simple enough. Three moves to get to 20. Well, plus four times four, then plus four. Just kind of running through these right now. Four moves to get to 40. Hmm, plus two times four. Well, I want to do times four again, but actually I should do plus two then times four. Yeah, yeah, get the order right. I started 100, gotta get to 10, and I have four moves for that. Well, divide by five, divide by five again, just add three twice, simple enough. Oh, is it about to get harder now? Oh, a new button. Neat. It deletes a number from the total. So, if my goal is four, I have to just delete three numbers, and that counts as a move. Interesting. I can get behind that. So if I go plus eight times five, then delete the zero, it gets to four. So it's not just math. It is very much puzzle solving. Start at 50, get to nine. Hmm. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. If I go times three to 150, then get rid of the zero. I have 15 divided by five is three, times three is nine. Getting pretty simple. Gotta get from 99 to 100. Really simple, except I don't have a plus one. Well, how on earth? Only three moves as well. So I'm thinking like working backwards, right? I could minus eight from 108 to get to 100, which is nine times 12. I don't have times 12. What is 99 times 11? Oh, that's pretty helpful. <laughs> 1089, okay. I guess that makes sense. Zero to 404, number not found. No delete this time, but there is a divide by two. It'd be plus eight. So I know how to get to 408. I could get to 808 and then divide by two. So times 10 times 10 plus eight divided by two. That's a good way to do it. 171 to 23, what a weird series. Well, I also have delete function back. Let's see, 23 plus sign is 32. Okay, here's an idea then, because um, that's a power of two. I was thinking if I go 17 minus nine, that's eight, which is also a power of two. But I think I'm one move short. That's wrong. That's a reset button. If I subtract nine now, that's another power of eight at 16. So I could then do times two to get to 32 minus nine. That's how you do it. From zero to 21 in five moves. Well, this, so, okay, getting rid of a digit actually just cost the move. Don't do that. So I gotta start with plus five. So I could do 16 plus five. I could do 210 or 200 and uh, something teen, subtract a digit. Or I could do seven times three. Maybe I can get to seven. I mean, times three times five minus that is seven. And that's 21, there we go. All right, 10 to 50 should be as easy as multiplying by five. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, actually multiply by three minus five times two. It's pretty simple. From zero to two in five moves. Really make me work for it. Well, it feels like you just delete some digits. What's four times nine times nine? 324? I don't think so. Four times nine is 36. Delete times nine is 27, then delete for two. There we go. Oh, another button unlocked. Two. It inserts a number into the total. Oh, very interesting. So I can insert a one. Okay, that's just the very tutorialized level to get to 11. 101. It's also simple. Three moves to get to 56. 51 plus five. That's how it works. From 15 to 10 in four moves. Interesting, I can throw in a zero. Like 150 divided by five is, what, 30? How'd I get to 10 though? Could it be 50 divided by five? It could be one and then throw a zero afterwards. Yeah, maybe I can just get to five actually. Yeah, yeah, so three plus two is five, divided by five is one, then a zero. That's a path in. Zero to 210. Well, I could do 200 plus five plus five, 220 minus five minus five. I doubt I get to 215. I could get to um, 225. Oh, uh, but I'm one move short here. Okay, I guess not. If I do minus five, then just add numbers here. Okay, it just makes the number more negative. Interesting. Um, to five minus five, and then I could throw in a five to make 205 plus five. That's the root. 
Ah, from 40 to 2020. Four moves, huh? So I see a zero at the end. I imagine I either got to do 40, 40 divided by two or get to 202, then throw in a zero. Or I could get to 404 divided by two and then throw in a zero. Yeah, that works. From zero to 11, 12, and then get rid of a digit and then another 12 and then get rid of that digit. Nice. Zero to 102. If I do 10, I don't like that. Immediately don't like it, but I mean, there's 10, 10. 101 and then 102. I guess that's right. Another new button. Numbers in the total convert to new numbers. What? Uh, okay. So like all of the numbers convert to new numbers? It must be. Yeah, I converted all my ones into twos. Otherwise that would have been impossible. Six turns into nine. Hmm. I feel like I should be saying something. 93. So I could also get 63. 63 divided by seven is nine, so I could do six, six into nine, times seven for 63, then six into nine again. Working backwards, zero to two, three, two, one. One can turn to two, two can turn to three. Hmm. So I could do like one, two, one, turn my two into three, and then a one into two, and then throw in a one at the end. That seems like an order operations puzzle. Zero to 24, eight can turn into four, so I could get 28. Well, there's a times two, so half of 28 is 14. F oh, and 14 could come from 18, which would be nine times two, eight to four, and then times two again, eight to four. Perfect. 36 to 20. Again, it can turn one to two, so I could end up at 10 and then make 20. Don't know how that helps me yet. Well, actually, it seems pretty easy then, right? I divide it by three, divide it by three again, plus three, plus three, and then 10 to 20. From two to 15 in four moves. Again, four can turn into five, so I could get to 14. 42 divided by 14. 42 divided by three is 14. So 21 times two divided by three, four to five. Seems simple. One, two, three, four into four, 14, and a lot of transformations. This is barely even about math. Does 24 even do anything right now? No, it doesn't cost me a move either. There's only two things I can begin with, two and three and one and two. I wanna get 414. Well, I gotta move a digit. So one, four into two at some point has to happen. And I would wanna do two, three into four, one, but then it becomes one, four, one, four. Repeating pattern's a bad idea because then it becomes super small. Don't do that. So I probably have to start with this one. Well, and then the only one I can follow up with is two, four. That's the only combo that exists. So I have one four, which can be turned into two, and then two three can turn into four one. My hand was forced. Zero into negative 85. I did see negative numbers can go how you would hope they would. I can do minus seven. Well, 75. I'm a little bit off the mark here. I guess I got to get to minus eight and then throw in a five. So like minus seven, minus seven plus six, and then a five. That's how you do it. From zero to nine in three moves. X squared, X times X. Well, minus three times itself is nine. For four moves into negative 120. What the hell is this four doing here? Well, there's a times five. So five times is 24, or five times negative 24 is negative 120. So I can do, how do I get the negative 24? Well, I can maybe do four minus six, and then throw in a four times five. That's how it's done. Four to 144. Well, that's 12 squared. Well, so I can do negative one, two, negative 12 squared is also 144. Another new button. Can flip this sign of numbers, negative to positive and positive to negative. Wait, they're telling me I can get out of here? Really? That'd be so nice. I feel like I've been trapped in here for years. Keep beating these puzzles so I can gain access. I get to either 13 or negative 13, or I could go three, three, negative six minus seven for negative 13 from zero to 60. Uh, there's a times four. So I know that 15 times four is 60. So I could do positive 10 with two presses plus five times four. From 44 to 52 in five moves. I got a times four, which is a uh, 13 times four. Okay, I have an idea for that. Because if I do divided by two and then flip the sign real quick and then add nine, I got negative 13. So bring it back and then times four. From nine to 10 in five moves. Wow, it should not be that hard, but here we are. Well, two times five is 10. I just gotta somehow get to two. Well, I could do negative nine plus five plus five to get to one. How does that help me? I guess me to five. But, well, I could plus five. <laughs> Duh, of course. From 14 to 12 in five moves. 
There's a divided by eight. So 96 divided by eight is 12. I think I'm getting there. Well, there is a six. So I guess I just need to get to nine, which involves flipping 14, adding five. So negative nine becomes positive nine. Throwing a six divided by eight. Looking good. 55 to 13. Oh, and the deletion's back and the negative positive. Would I ever really want to delete a number? I mean, yeah, I guess. Like if I, the number started with four, I could delete the second number, then have four plus nine equals 13. So maybe subtract here, add the nine so the number can start with four. Delete it. Oh, I don't have enough moves. Okay. How about this, actually? Um, Tract the digit, flip it, and then I just add nine twice, because that got me to four regardless. From zero to 245. Okay, a five at the end, so I probably just need to get to 24. And I can see it, it's getting the 24 isn't too bad, right? I do minus six, flip it, times four, throw in a five. From 39 to 12 and four moves. Now there's a times negative three, so I could come from negative four. If I divide by three, that gets me 13. Or I could go from 36 divided by three. Well, from 39 to 36, that's minus three, which is the same as nine divided by three. I don't know if I have enough moves for this though. Yeah, I was thinking I go like times negative three plus nine divided by three and then divide by three again. But as you can see, the sign's are wrong. One move away. You stupid calculator looking at me with your derpy smile. What secrets do you hold? I'm on to you calculator boy. Or am I the calculator boy? I don't know. I was thinking like if I go to 30, maybe I could do it again and again. Minus 12 again, come on. Why must you be like this? Divide by three, what about this? Error, can't divide 13 by three? What, because you can't contain all the decimal points? I guess it doesn't really help me with my solution. I'll give you that, but not much else. Surely they didn't give me an impossible puzzle. That would be mean. I have no worth as a human being if I can't figure out this puzzle. It's a game with a calculator that says clicky 5,000. It shouldn't be that hard. I get the 36 or 108 or negative four. I can get to negative four. Can I get to negative four? Wait, yeah, I can. Actually, I think I saw that as a possibility. When did I get to negative four? I swear I was there. When I did negative three, switch signs, add nine. That's how it's done. Ah, oh, that came up a while ago. The people were screaming. Ah, negative four times negative three is 12. From 111 to 126. Well, I have a times three, which uh, gets me from 42 to 126. That also can be multiplied by three. I mean, we're talking 14 times three times three. I don't know though. That's a, yeah, this is 14. That's too far away. That's not it. There's also the minus nine. That could start with like 135 or negative 117. Either of which helped me. Well, times three times three times three again. This isn't helpful. No, you're useless to me. It's a big number though, well done. I don't know, 14 makes the most sense. So delete a number, maybe from 11 to 14? Or let me try minus nine times three times three times three times, never mind. That's 162, just kinda whoop, and then it work. Just like that. What if I start from one? Oh, I would have a minus eight. I don't think I could get to 42 or 14. Yeah, it's too late. Same digits again. How about this? Start from 333, three, three. get rid of the digit. At 33, make a negative, subtract to nine. And we're looking at 42. There we go. Okay, 50 levels done. That was more fun than I expected. I only played it because it just came out to Steam and people begged me to play it when I played the first calculator game. Go watch that too. That was also fun. Anyway, I'd like to thank y'all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more math. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.